yesterday. I'm getting better than yesterday. I started off as a featherweight. Made with the ethic of major pain. Damon Wayne's with an ankle sprain. I'm getting better than yesterday. Got no excuses, I make a way. Whether I'm losing or gaining games, I'm never losing, I'm gaining games. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby, welcome back to my motivational and inspirational speaking series. Today, I'm going to talk about something that's very, very critical for success in your journey to greatness. And that is the ability or inability to quiet the critics. Now we've heard that before, right? We've heard about the, the need to quiet the noise, to quiet those around you. But let me explain to you how and why that is so important. Now, inevitably, as you may or may not know, as a human being in today's world, especially as a young person, you deal with a litany of critics. Some valid, some not. Some close to you, some not. Some can have an impact on you and some can't. Everything from friends, schoolmates, teammates, coaches, even intimate family members can offer up criticism at often the most inopportune times. But take solace and gain strength and have peace in knowing this. Know who you are. And most importantly, know whose you are. I'm gonna say it again. Know who you are and most importantly, know whose you are. What that means is very simple. You come from greatness. You come from the seed of the Lord. You come from God. You come from Jesus. So, so inside of you is something that can be changed, can be broken, can be defeated. You are beauty. You are grace. You are success, no matter what anybody says about you. In fact, if you read in Jeremiah 29, 11, it tells you right there. For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. You see, inside of you was a seed. Inside of you is a seed that was planted years, years before you even gave birth or came to life on earth. Inside of you is greatness. Inside of you is a gift that only you have. And so, you have to make sure you understand that as you move forward. And that gift is yours and no one else's. And we, as a world, as earthly people, allow people around us to quiet that, to quiet our gift, to quiet the greatness that lives inside of us. And I'm here to tell you and show you how to make sure we reverse that and we stop quieting who we are and we stop quieting what we are and we stop quieting what we're meant to be and instead we learn and develop the ability to quiet the critic now obviously that's easier said than done and i told you that part of it or the beginning of it is realizing who you are and realizing where you come from meaning whose you are but I'll go further. I'll give you guys, all of you, a three-step a three step checklist. Three things to ask yourself whenever you hear criticism of any kind. Whenever you hear you're ugly, you're stupid, you suck, you're horrible, you're dumb. Whenever you hear critic, a critic say anything about you that you know in your soul and spirit is not accurate. I want you to go through this checklist every single time. Three questions to ask yourself whenever you face adversity or face critics. Number one, is it true? I mean, is what they're saying about you, is it true? Are you stupid? Are you, are you ugly? Are you, are you horrible? Do you suck? The question inevitably can be answered with a, a resounding no. And the evidence is all around you of the resounding no. No, you don't suck. You've come too far. No, you ain't ugly. You've had too many confirmations of your beauty. 
Are you dumb? No, you have failed, failed maybe, but you have passed life's test over and over again. So be honest and ask yourself, is that true? Number one. Number two, and, and listen very closely. Number two, can I control it in the moment? When I grew up, I had a stutter. And then I developed cluttering where I talk fast. So number one was, was do I stutter? Do I talk funny? Maybe. But number two, can I control that in the moment? And the answer was yes and no. Yes, I can control it by, by learning how to speak slowly, by reading more, by articulating, by having confidence to be all engaged and all in when I give presentations and I speak and love me for me regardless of how it comes out. So I began to do that. So I controlled what I could control. So, so can you control it or not? Number one was, is it true or not? Number two is, can you control it or not? And number three, does it matter or not? Does it matter what they say about me? And if it's true, does it matter if it's true? Right? I stuttered growing up. Does it matter? No. I don't always talk exactly right or I, I may speak fast or my words may get jumbled. Does it matter? No, the message matters. You have greatness inside of you and we've come too far in your journey to let naysayers derail it. Right, to let all the, all the critics and the haters derail it. We've come too far to stop now. We've come too far to only come this far. Is it true? No, it's not true. And sit down in that for a minute and see how far you've come to, to witness that it's not true. You are beautiful, you are successful, you do have greatness in front of you. The proof is in the, is in the journey you've come so far. The proof is there. I don't care what he or she says, the, the proof is there, it's not true. Number two, can you do something about it? The answer is yes and no. I can't control what's happened today. I can't control the F I got on this test. I can't control my last outing in, in, in my baseball or football or basketball game. I can't control that. What I can't control is what I do from here. How much I sleep, how much I train, how much I study. And then the last part, right? You guys know this, right? It doesn't matter what they say or what they think. It doesn't matter if right now I'm not perfect. The world is full of imperfect persons making great strides in life. In your endeavor, in your industry, in your sport, the world is full of people who are imperfect. So maybe it's true in the moment. And maybe you can't control it in the moment. But more times than not, that doesn't matter. What matters is who you are. And what matters is whose you are. Don't let them change who you are. Don't let them make you forget where you come from. Don't make this failure or this comment or this thing or that thing change what you believe about yourself and what you know to be true about yourself that you have inside of you greatness. At the end of the day, it's not about what they say. It's about what we do. And we don't owe nothing. Yeah, I know that's not grammatically correct. We don't owe nothing to them. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to our God. We owe it to our spirit. And as long as all three of those are in my corner, I'm good to go. Myself, my God, 
and my spirit. Yourself, your God, and your spirit. If you have that, it don't matter what anybody says. That gives you the strength. That gives you the courage to do what you need to do. Again, Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you. He knows the plans he has for you. Plans for welfare, not evil, to give you a future and a hope. That's all we need. A love from ourselves, a confidence in ourselves, a belief in our growth and our journey, and a leaning upon our soul and our spirit and our God is all we need to quiet the critics.